Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, I wanted to talk about a really cool app I've been messing with and a bit addicted to lately. You can hear it in the background here. It's called Whatnot. As you can see, it's like a vintage Pokemon pack. That's a $200, $300, $400 pack. People are bidding on it right now. It's up to 200 bucks. But it's a live streaming app. It... There's a lot more than that. There's shoes, Pokemon, magic, coins, anything. It's an auction site, which combines like Twitch with eBay. Um, I wanted to make a video on it because I there's a reason why, and I'll explain later. Um, it has its pros and cons. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just I found out about it through Retro Rick, and using an affiliate or just a referral link. Uh, gives you 10 free dollars and it actually worked for me um so that's cool and i think if you refer people you can get free credit as well so that's nifty i've already tested it i put my own money into the app i was a little skeptical at first but it seems legit i keep an eye on everything we'll see over time um the app like i said it has pros and cons i've been watching a lot of auctions um we'll get into the the downside of it the stuff i've seen um the mystery the mystery cards and packs and stuff like that it's just like your online ebay ones i avoid them like the plague i'm not saying you can't hit good things but i've seen people spending like 80 bucks for like a mystery pack and literally every pack was like 10 to 20 dollars in value which it's a ripoff i'll call it i'll call it how i see it it's a ripoff you could hit probably but the person making those packs they're gonna have like an 80 percent downturn your way like they're gonna make profit off of those no matter what they're gonna purposely make them all undervalued it's common sense but people still buy them i've seen people eat them up which makes me think man it'd be nifty to do to run like a business like that i i wouldn't do it because i feel like it's sort of scummy but people buy into it it's like it's like the lottery ticket chaser right that kind of philosophy i've seen a lot of that and then i've seen people running there's bounties and stuff people put up which you can chase and if you bid so much you you rule the wheel or there's bingo they run all these games and you can hit good stuff but it is gambling in a way um what i've seen another downfall is a lot of the vendors the auctions if they're popular enough i always go for the lower view count or if people are running like decent stuff and just no one's bidding and you catch on to that you can get really good deals but i noticed a lot of like the popular people on there a lot of their items go over comp price so you're never getting a good deal you're I've sat there and watched 15, 20 auctions and people pay more than you can just go on eBay or TCG player and just buy directly. It's, it blows my mind. I don't understand it. I think they just like to watch their packs get ripped live or they like to just win an auction live. But to me, that's a waste of money. I don't fall into that category. Those are the odd things you'll see. Like people will run like two, two pack openings for 12 bucks when you can go and buy two packs for like seven to eight bucks. Right. That kind of stuff. The really good side right now, which I think will fade over time. If you find low end viewer account auctioneers, I'm not saying prey on them, but what I've noticed is even people getting 20 to 50 viewers, I've gotten you can get decent deals. I've seen people get decent deals. It all depends on how many people are bidding. If there's a high bidder, I've seen some people, no offense to them, they're in like a lot of the lobbies I'm in and they just bid stuff up nonstop. I don't know if they have a spending addiction. I like to spend too, but like some of these dudes, if they're in there, it's like, okay, all the options are going to go up. So you want to avoid those lobbies too. But on the bright side, you can get deals, man. Like I bought a Champions Path ETB. They retail for 100 The guy threw it up for $75. I, requ I requested to buy it, and 75 bucks, you know, and I hit a Charizard VMAX, which I'll show off later in my channel, legit 
as long as he doesn't scam me, which I, he has a good rep on there. There's a rep system, all that. Um, that, and then I bought a Marnie tournament box that's worth like 85 to 90 for like 50 bucks, and then um, two Pokemon packs that were from the first movie ever created they're worth like 20 to 40 bucks a piece and i got two for 11 dollars a piece like you can get these deals sometimes you're looking for a while and it doesn't seem worth it. it it's true but if you find the right auctioneers and you frequent them and they don't have the viewer count you get what i'm saying you can if they're throwing out one dollar auctions and people aren't bidding you can snipe and steal it's just that simple um you can tell some of these guys get upset and i don't blame them i mean i watched one dude his whole stream he was getting undercut by 30 to 50 percent on all of his auctions and he was getting quite salty i mean i understand that that's why some of these dudes they'll run a minimum start so they're not losing money just like on ebay sellers right um <clears throat> so yeah you can find the deals but since it's such a fresh app and there's not like thousands of people on there concurrently yet, I think in the next few weeks or months, it's going to, you're going to have 50 people in every lobby right now. You can get in and there's like three to 20. And when it gets up to like 50 to 100 in all the decent lobbies, there's going to be too much bidding power. I think the site is going to become just higher than just going and buying comps online. Right any decent tcg listing or ebay listing i think eventually over time i'll probably get off the app but right now it's fresh and you can get good deals if you look it's crazy those three deals i told you honestly pretty cool some of the auctioneers they'll run like three packs for 10 and the, the packs will be five bucks a piece you know like you can you can find those kind of pack opening deals too if that's your thing but i've seen like they do exist, but I'm telling you, when it gets more popular and more mainstream, I don't think I'll even bother using it much because it'll be so hard to find a decent lobby, you know, where you can actually win a decent bid steal. So you want to get in early. It's legit. I love it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, don't fall into the mystery. If you're into like old pack openings, don't buy the mystery packs and the little games where they're charging way over comp value for the bounties. I mean, if that's your thing, you can win the bounties. Like I said, the bounties are, if you hit a top tier hit out of a pack, you win the bounty that they have up and they do it to entice you. And 99% of the time, you're not going to hit that bounty. It's there to just make you spend more money, but people do hit them. It is what it is. That's your choice. I mean, I wouldn't sit there and overspend on, on packs just to have them opened either to me that's just that's not a good return on investment right but if someone's going to throw 30 percent off an etb or old vintage packs like you know 50 60 percent off like that i'm, I'm going to eat those up i mean it's rare though a lot of people like i said i'm rambling now a lot of people on there are conservative they will list so they don't lose any money. So you're always paying comp value or way over comp value. I've seen people run nine, ten dollar packs that are worth five bucks, and they they don't get any. No one. Sometimes they sit there stale. It's like the more popular they are, the more money they make. Obviously, because the more viewers they have, people will bid just to have that person open the pack. Like I said, it's a cool concept. It's awesome. I guess there's another app called Drip Shop. I haven't really checked it out. Now, I do want to mention the one thing I don't like. I should have mentioned this earlier. You eat the shipping on the first auction. It's three dollars and fifty cents for like a pack, a booster pack. And then if you buy like a box or a bigger box, it can be like four to nine dollars. You have to eat that, which means you pay it on your first your first auction you win out of that stream and then after that it goes down to a dollar for everything else for combined shipping so they do eat you on that so you need to factor that into your bidding price to see if it's worth it and i like to find out too the longevity of the stream if i'm going to bid on multiple things if they just get off right away and you go to another stream you got to eat that 350 shipping plus again right so it's nice to know the longevity of the stream if you like the stuff they're auctioning and you're going to buy multiple things you can save a few dollars by doing the one dollar added on shipping right 
it's just that's one thing I just dislike. Like if you're swapping streams a lot and stuff, you're eating that max shipping price when if you're just buying like a card and you're paying three dollars and fifty cents shipping, standard is like what, fifty cents to a dollar. So that's the one thing. And I heard weeks ago it was you eat the first shipping cost and then the next three bids were free. Then they changed that. So it is what it is. That's the one downfall. But I just wanted to talk about it and blog about it. Um, not really much else to say. Check it out. And like I said, get in early because I'll probably revisit this video in a year. And if it's too popular, it's unless there's a lot more sellers down that list and you can go down to the lowest viewed ones and you're still getting deals, that's the way I see good deals surviving on there. But I think over time, it's going to get much, much harder to find really good steals. They're out there on there. Not easy to come by, but you sort of have to prey on some of the auctioneers, just like some of them prey on the consumer, right? Don't be like, they don't go in there with the gambling mindset. Like that's just, to me, blows my mind. I want to make sure I'm getting 30 to 50% off my investment. So if, if an item does pull back in price, I'm still safe, right? That's just the way I look at it with a lot of my collectibles. <laughs> But people spending 30% above comp just to have these guys open on stream and stuff, you just, unless you get good hits, you're blowing money essentially. And, and people do it. You can watch it live. People do it. It's mind blowing. The, the $80 mystery packs I saw with like 10 to $20 EV expected value, it was blowing my mind how many people were eating them up. I wouldn't do that to people. Because obviously you're not going to run mystery packs and then put tons of value in it. It's just never going to happen in the history of mystery packs. I'm not saying they don't throw $150 value into one or two of them, you know, but they're making several hundred dollars over the course of the stream over, you know, the extra 70 bucks they're giving out to two people, right? They're always going to be ahead. Just like a casino, the house wins in this situation. So be smart with it. And yeah, take it easy.